Yeah. Yeah. What salmon? Just put it in there now. Put it in the oven. Why you say that? Put some of them baggies out so I can pack that roughy. I'm about to play this game right quick. Pack them up in threes. Somebody bring me some water. I think, I think so. I don't know, Katie. You might have to wait till you actually a senior. Yeah, but this said in the class of twenty four, so I think you gotta actually one school over which you gotta submit. Yeah, but one school over with you technically a senior. So this summer you could do it.
Yeah. You All right, I got this camera on the game, playing the game. I need no distractions. I'm in the playoff hunt. Just mm -hmm. right here, baby. Come on, you can't be saying. Come on, little more. You still good. Yeah, baby. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Straight ahead, a rematch from Super Bowl 57 as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What works in our final month? We're underway in week 14. And no return to the start. It's a fair catch, and they will set up shop at the 25. Good for the receivers, but you know how they work on that. 
They have footballs with no laces. So as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right, you're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. On the right side, this is Miller. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play. And immediately got to the pass. And again, Herbert escaping the pressure right. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Here's Herbert now on second down. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 15-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 on this opening drive. Yeah, that's a little fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. He's good about what he's doing. I think if you're going to play and reading that, they'll continue to play the football. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Chiefs get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and get it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll just take a seat and the driver will get at the 25-yard line. First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand and running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Now Jones. Got a man open. It's Darren Wolf. And they'll get all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. A big play to start them out. Has them at the 45 already. Throwing Jones. Oh, come on. Come on. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory at the 39-yard line. Look at the throw. Jones flush to his right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. The Eagles at 500 at 6-6. Six and six. They come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 28. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And well, they move this all the way down to the nine. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 
for 20. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. So applaud because these RPOs, things happen so quickly. And that ball is out of the quarterback's hands fast. He read it and reacted and was there to hit him as the ball arrived at the receiver. Big time read, big time play. Touchdown, Eagles! nine-yard touchdown, Brown. And the Eagles are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Carlson's extra point up and good, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it, and a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Wow, some the KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a balance of roles in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have Hello. specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better. It's, 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 it's supposed to be delivered, but it ain't got enough time. Man. Okay, well, you in charge of so I just let you know what you think. I sent it to you. I was tired of this. I said, yeah, that was so tough. Fall down there. Fall and won't be touching nothing else. So and one play, and they're all around you, shy of the field. But I'm tired. So, you got it. Y'all going to have a little... You're doing that, boy. You can do it. They'll go the ground with Sean. And this will be stopped at 44. That would be good for some of the guys. A nice run here early on. It doesn't have to be a good call. Nah, nah, nah. Because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Okay, all right, you guys. Love you back. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They have three yards on first down, just one yard there. Third down and six. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That is caught. Cool. About a half to a full yard shy of five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game where people go get you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. They'll run with Chow. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Nick Chubb with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. McPherson on for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Coming off every player's friend, the open week from last weekend. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did, the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over a little bit, right? Rest up the mind, rest up the body, get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Operating from the gun, Jones. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they want to get across midfield. That one covers 29 yards, first down.
And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Oh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. It's so coverage. So he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect it. So he can react to everything in front of him. And he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't have a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. And right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A well-executed 22-yard game. Finally playing he's like I'm on the floor. Wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time 18 more and a first down. so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here, but with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drop. I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because we're going to quote Smokey and the Bandit Lair. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there, but they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. To throw once more on second and ten. Jones. And his throw is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you gotta worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Good throw. Take the first of their timeouts. 
as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Back to throw again. He's able to find him. That's good for 28 yards. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Jones on first down. And that's going to be cut for the Eagles touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Carlson's extra point up and going. And they're back with the touchdown at 21 14. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try to add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're up for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Now a third and six. Game. 
Jones on first and two. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. A final shot before break. Jones. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. That ball was tipped in the air and while it ultimately fell incomplete. It caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it who's had quite a day. He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well. And maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. Now Jones, a final shot before break. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the room alongside Charles Davis. I'm ready to go and set and ready to rock. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point, and now he's getting the ball to start the third There we go.
They'll try the air now with Herbert. And he's gonna go down. That was a good one. Oh, man. Chris Jones in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. I'll tell you what, he did not have much time there to skip the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly? Meaning the guys in front of him had almost no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry. So now, Charles, this drive may be a touch more important trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you. Interception results. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Second and ten now, third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Look at the throw, Jones. Come on, baby. You got to get that. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards to pick up there. Jones now, throwing on first down. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he is tackled inside the 49 plant to the 35. And now they're in the hurry up. Here's Jones on first down. Come on! Right side and incomplete. Offense is moving a little bit out and back on their heels, but they're a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Here we go. 11, 11. Here's second and 10. 12, 12, 12. To throw again, Jones. Good one. That was good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. 
This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive. As they, they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, and their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the break, aren't they? And Chubb will try the middle here to about the 33-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive line. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. He was probably slow, taken in by Miller. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the end. So for Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Herbert, quick pass out wide. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A few moving pieces on that play, because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, there he goes left side! And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Herbert operating from the red zone. Oh, hit as he throws there incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's not locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Here's a quick pass. He's got Chris Godwin. Touchdown! Chris Godwin with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Now this game went off the rails early for them and never really got back on track. And these fans, they were expecting to be on the And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Another solid game-changing play for this defense for the interception. At this point, though, I don't know that it's game-changing. I mean, they've got this one in firm control. And you always hear about, you know, those stories about someone left their game plan behind and maybe you benefit from it. I'm not going to say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game. Guys are always in the right spot. Now he's free going down the left. 
left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Nick Chubb, 53 yards. And the Chiefs have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And they're going to speed things up here. Jones on first and ten. And that was interference. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with the referee. On first and ten, Jones. It's caught inside the 25. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So signs of life, and it's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Second and ten. Back to throw, Jones. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into the wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. successful this one backfires for a turnover on downs i like their aggressiveness i like what they're doing they got it the first time they went for it why not a second time i don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again if you're on the defensive side of the ball though any fourth down stop is a big momentum play two yards the loss second and 12. an interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra dbs on the field Despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out, but I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as it stuffed out in the bottom line of scrimmage. A gain there of 30 big ones. And even with the game seemingly in hand, they're continuing to fire away, pressing the ball down the field. Listen, it's worked all day. No reason to go away from it now. On first and ten, Herbert. A quick pass here to Godwin. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Parker, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon. And that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff. And they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. First down, Justin Herbert. 
pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. With the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. High up there to grab it. And he works it to the 30 yard line here, right at the 30. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. 72 yards rushing now for Chubb, and a first down as well. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you got to tell your quarterback. This will be caught, and the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Not much defensive resistance on that drive. <laughs> really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. But maybe some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And now here's another interception. Fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense and certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner, I'm hoping they're holding a nice little spot in the post-game highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest, don't forget today. Don't forget what's happened now. Yeah, use that as ammo. Exactly. Going. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Throwing Jones. And that's complete to Sanders. And he gets this inside the 35 yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Another throw there off the mark. And obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question. And my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, know, oh. and got his man complete. Touchdown! Too little, too late, but he does get in for six. No wonder you're gritty. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. Carlson's extra point up and good as they make the score just a slight bit more respect. 
respectable here in the final quarter of play. The Eagle Kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, they came into this one with a vision, Charles, and it has played out exactly as they had hoped, if not even better. They got the huge lead here, and now a few ball for the final moments of the fourth. Yeah, and it's apparent that they were the better team. We figured that out pretty early. But give them a lot of credit for staying with it. They didn't stumble around out there. They didn't create a lot of errors for themselves because they were the superior team. They took care of business and closed them out pretty quickly. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. Thank you. 